Hey, MSA. So we are in the beginning of week 11. I'm going to tell you what's going to, going to happen for the next couple weeks, all the way up until Thanksgiving break, um, roughly anyway. So uh, the, uh, the agenda for the next couple weeks is we're going to finish up Investigation 4, and the last thing that will happen before uh, Thanksgiving break is the Investigation 4 test. So to get there, <clears throat> we are going to start off with the Investigation 4 Activity 3 Nearpod. Um, you have a chance to redo the Google Forms from la or do or redo the Google Forms from last week if you haven't yet. Um, one of them was due on Monday. Um, then to get you guys moving ahead of the other class so we can do some en enrichment stuff with you, I'm going to have you go through the slideshow that the other students are doing in the afternoon. You're going to go through that in the morning. You can do that just kind of glancing through it or you can, I made a video that talks through it. I would actually recommend the video just so that you make sure you get all the content that's in there. Um, <clears throat> there are um, videos that are embedded in there and any video that's embedded in there I also included it as an attachment to the Google Classroom. So in case something doesn't work, um, I, and that's true of the Nearpods and that's true of the slides, the videos are embedded on their own so you can get to them if you need to. Um, <clears throat> so the, the big ideas for Monday are the setup of the nucleus of the atom, which is small and dense and positively charged. Um, and then right away in the afternoon, we're going to get into what the other classes are doing on Wednesday. We're going to talk about atomic math and the strong force, also atomic mass. But I thought it was funny how atomic math and atomic mass sound almost the same, and we're talking about both at the same time. So we're going to do some atomic math and learn about the strong force on Monday. Uh, then on Wednesday, you guys are getting into the reading the other classes are doing on Friday, which is why doesn't the nucleus fly apart? which is going to make more sense once you know about the strong force. There will be a Nearpod and slides to go with that morning also. And then in the afternoon, because you guys got ahead, we are going to get deeper into some things about radiation and isotopes. You can't learn about atomic stuff without learning about radiation and isotopes and all of that great stuff. Um, and ions, I think we'll be able to get to also. <clears throat> so there's a Google form from Monday that you have to complete by Friday, a Google form on Wednesday that you have to complete by Monday. Um, and then on Friday, we are going to learn about the model of the atom that is most close to what we consider to be true now. Um, of course, there's always new things to learn, and so I'm going to give you guys an intro to a couple of different fields of physics that you might find interesting and maybe glance into some of the big ideas that they're working on right now to the best of my ability because I'm not a quantum mechanic or a particle physicist but I'm going to tell you uh, give you a start so that you can get looking into these things yourself. Um, we are going to be talking about the nucleus, we're going to be talking about the strong force, we're going to talk about atomic mass units, we're going to be talking about the arrangement of electrons around the atom and then um, at the end of the week, we are going to go through the Investigation 4 summary table. Just sum up each different experiment, what we learned from it. Um, you guys will be able to fill that out in small groups. should be no big deal. There's going to be a Google form about the probability model. And then the week after that is review and getting ready for the Investigation 4 test. Um, we may end up bumping that test to Monday and Tuesday of next, of the right before Thanksgiving break or not. We'll just see how things go and how you guys are doing. So um, I look forward to it. It's going to be a good week. I'll see you soon.